I got a new best friend, you guys. Do you want to meet her? Um. Her name is Decker, and she looks like this. <laughs> Teachers, I'd like to introduce you to your new best friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an Elgato Stream Deck. And she comes in three different sizes. I got the middle one, 15 keys. So originally this was made for gamers who like to live stream. And when they're live streaming their, uh, their gameplay, they're able to switch different scenes by a push of a button. So it automates everything that you would do on a computer to a push of a button. And so a lot of you guys know last year I started an eSports class and we were doing some live streaming. So I was at that point like, I gotta get one of these things. But you know, I just got pushed way down the priority list as we went on. And then the other day, Bridget from the Lettered Classroom posted a picture of her desk. So I texted her and I'm like, Bridget, is that a stream deck? And she's like, why, yes it is. <laughs> and so we got to talking and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really, have, I've wanted one of those things for so long. Do you use it to teach? And she's like, it's so incredible. You've got to get one. So I was torn. I'm like, do I want to get a Roomba or a stream deck? And I couldn't decide. And I'm, she's like, she's like, Darren, just get both. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, so I ordered both of them. They arrived. My Roomba has been amazing. I have two half corgis, and you, if you guys know corgis, they shed a lot. So there's hair everywhere, and her name is Rue, and she goes around our house and cleans up all the hair. Amazing! I never knew there was so much hair in my house, so thank you, Rue. And Stream Deck has become my very best friend now that I'm teaching online and I'm just getting in the groove. You guys, I love this thing. It automates everything for you. The difference is, you guys, it's a tactile experience. So I'm thinking about a lot of teachers that are maybe, you know, struggling with window management, everybody, tab management, everybody. Teachers, this thing can streamline everything for you. It's not called a stream deck for nothing. No, I'm just kidding. It's not really called that because of that. I could see how this could really help a teacher that's trying to teach online. Because it can automate going from window to window, tab to tab, and if you are sharing your screen, but you have a bunch of different things open, this can help everything. So when I was talking to Bridget, I'm like, Bridget, I don't, like, which one should I get? Should Because the, the smallest one has six keys, and it's only $99. If you go up to the 15 key, which is the original one, this this one I think is 150 bucks or something like that. And then they have a big giant one that has 32 keys. And she's like, you only need the, the middle one. I mean, you can get away with the small six key one, but the middle one is great because you there's multiple pages. So you, as you can see right here, you can, um, you can set up a bunch of different pages. So really, you'll never run out. And if you set it up a certain way, you can easily go from page to page to get to all of the functions that you want. So this is like my home page on my phone. This has all the keys that I normally use when I'm not teaching online. Like, for instance, I always have my um, emails open and then um, the all important Amazon key. This key right here opens up my screen flow, which is my screencasting software. And that's how I film all those um, Instagram tutorials with, the, uh, with this screen flow right here. This of course, many of you guys will recognize, is my Final Cut. This automates everything. I'm constantly opening up my desktop finder app and also my downloads finder app. Just one key poof, opens up. I never I don't have to search for anything. I don't have to close any windows down. This thing is so amazing. So here's the story. I, I got this thing and I was playing around with it and I'm, I'm trying to integrate it into my teaching. The very first day I got it, it was a game changer. It made things so easy 
to go from page to page to page. And then this last week, I took my game up to the next level and I was running Ecamm Live through my Zoom and I was, it's so amazing, you guys. The next page right here, this, which one is it? This is my Ecamm page. So this is some uh, software that allows me to use this as a switcher. So it's like when I'm doing a Zoom call, I'm broadcasting a TV show and I'm going from camera to camera, to scene to scene, to share screen to share screen. It, this thing's so incredible, you guys. So the next page is my sound effects. And I have this open during my Zoom call. And when kids are saying stuff, I, I play all these funny sounds like <laughs> and <laughs> you don't have an idea. They love this one. What's another one? Um, This one too. For my Super Smash Bros fans. Out. <laughs> and then when I call on a kid and they're not answering, I go I I do this one. <laughs> and there's always like a smattering of kids on the Zoom that are laughing. They're like, this is so funny. I also have this one. I really, it's like more entertaining for me than it is for the kids. Anyways, if you only got this to trigger sound effects, I swear you would think it was totally worth it. The Elgato Stream Deck. Okay, this one right here is for my Zoom. So they have these automatic Zoom downloads that you can do. If I wanna mute all participants, mute, you're muted. If I want to uh, share my screen, share my screen. If I want to unshare my screen, unshare my screen. If I want to, you know how when you're sharing your screen and you want to see the participants, but you, you have to go up and click a couple things. Not me. I just have to push a button. Participant window out opens and then same with the chat. Chat like you're looking at the control bar and you're like 57 red, you know, dots on there and you're like, oh, I, I got to check the messages. So you, you click on that and the chat window opens up. So for my school, I have one Zoom link for my uh, classes, for all my classes, all my meetings, everything. So when I wanna open that up, I just push a button, bam, it opens up Zoom for me. I'm telling you guys, this thing is a game changer for teachers teaching online. It can handle, it, and, and I only have like four or five pages set up. I'm gonna, I. I know I'm gonna just scratch the surface at this point. You guys are gonna come up with some amazing things. This, you guys, is not just for gamers. I feel like this thing right here can really help a lot of teachers out there. And you know, that's what I'm all about. I'm trying to help you guys. This thing, let me show you. Check this thing out. One of the great things about this Stream Deck is that it simplifies everything that you do. So this is what the software looks like. When you open it up, it has a replica of everything that is showing up on your page. So if you went to a different page, it changes the view. So these are the pages that I have set up. This first one right here, if I push this, it will open up the email boxes that I use all the time. So normally I would open up a browser and I'd have to click on the email boxes that I want to open. But now, if I push this button, it just automatically opens up all the email boxes that I want. So there you go, that's tab management. The next one right here, you can actually have folders set up. So if I push on this one, it opens up a folder of some frequently used applications that I use. And then of course, you can open up apps with it. This is ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is uh, my screencasting software. It's the thing that I used to create my Instagram tutorials. And of course, Final Cut right here and Photoshop. And then of course, this is super handy right here. These are my desktop apps. 
and they open up like that. Or if I want to get to my downloads, two finder windows that I go to all the time and now I just have to push a button. Of course I can open up my messages. Don't read my messages, okay guys? This next page is something called Ecamm Live. This is like a broadcasting software switcher. So I can switch from camera to camera or scene to scene. If I have a share screen that I wanna share with the kids, I click on this and it will switch to that share screen. This is a totally different video that I need to make for you guys, but what I'm using is a uh, broadcasting software inside of Zoom so that I don't have to share my screen or I don't have to do anything except spotlight my video and then I control the whole lesson just from one little switcher. This right here is what I was talking to you about with my uh, sound effects. These are just little um, sound files that I put into a folder and then now I can trigger them just by touching one of these buttons like this. So as you can see, you can play more than one at the same time too. It's so cool, you guys. I love this page. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna make another one with some more, um, some more sound effects on it because it's just such a fun thing to do during a lesson. This is my Zoom page. So right here, I can activate Zoom and start it up. Or I can go straight to a meeting for instance, this one right here is my uh, this is this is my class Zoom. So whenever I need to start a Zoom class, office hours, advisement, tutorial, first period, second period, any one of those, I just push this button and it will automatically start that meeting for me. So once I'm in this thing, I can share a screen. I can I want to mute all participants. I click on this. If I want, oh, you know how when you are um, you are sharing your screen, and let me let me just do that. I'm gonna share. Oh, I'll just share this. Okay, so I'm sharing this screen right here, right? And you you want that toolbar, but it's like hidden because you have a million windows open. Well, this thing right here. Let me see meeting controls right here. So if I push meeting controls, it automatically brings up my meeting controls. So as you can see, they're gone right now. Push this, if I push this button, it'll bring up that meeting control toolbar. And then you know how when you're sharing a screen, you also, like you can't see your participants unless you open the window. Normally I'd have to come up here and push on this participants, but I programmed it so I just have to push this button and then it opens up participants. And then the same thing with chat. If, uh, if I wanted to see the chat, I'd have to click on more, go to chat, and then it would open up a um, another window like this, right? But now I can just click this button and the chat button will open up. You see what I'm saying, you guys? And let's say I don't wanna share my screen anymore. I just click on this right here and it it's, goes right back. It automates all of your Zoom clicks into one bank. So simple, you guys. This thing is so easy to set up too. Once you get your Stream Deck, all you're gonna do is go to the Elgato website, elgato.com, and then Stream Deck Download. Oh, it's the second one. So if I go Stream Deck Download, all you're gonna do is choose your platform, Mac or PC. I'm a Mac. You come over here and you go down to Stream Deck and you choose which one you have. The mini, the regular one that I have, or the XL, which is the giant, big, giant bad boy. You uh, download the software and then once you run it, it's gonna ask for some permissions because you're gonna have it open up a lot of apps. You accept all those permissions and then you um, you go and you start setting up your stream deck. So it's gonna start out like this. It'll look like this right here. So your first page will look like this. All you gotta do is drag one of these functions 
over to one of the buttons and then start programming it. So for instance, let's say we want to open a website right here. We'll look at the key right here. Okay, watch this. Ah, it already starts to understand what we're doing here. Let's say we want to go to this Elgato downloads page. We copy the link. We come down here to URL and you post that link right now. And then we watch again, watch this right here in real time. Elgato, it writes it right onto the key, you guys. So let's say I'm right here. We press this button right here. Look at that. It opens up a page right there. Is that incredible? Come on, that's incredible. And then to delete it, you just go right here, click delete. Yes, I want to delete it. Let's say that we're right here on the home page. This is taking us to a website and we want to change the icon. We click on this little down arrow. We can either um, create a new icon from the Elgato website, which is pretty cool. You design the web, the button right here. So let's say we want this to be right here. We click that and now that's our button. We just download that PNG and then we come over here uh, from file and we find the PNG that we just made and then we, we stick that thing right in there. Bam, changes on here too. Is that incredible you guys? Come on, you can also program it to do keyboard shortcuts. So let's say you do, uh, I don't know, control C all the time. You can program this to push a button and it will do a control C on your keyboard automatically for you. So anything that you do on your computer, you can now automate into one button on your Elgato Stream Deck. That's what I'm saying. This thing is a teacher's best friend, you guys. Best friend. So coming up this Monday, October 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, because I'm on the West Coast and Jen is on the East Coast, we are going to do a Stream Deck workshop. So if you're interested in learning more about how to set up a Stream Deck for a teacher, because remember, this thing was designed with gamers in mind, right? You can set this up for a teacher so that you can optimize your online teaching experience for your kids. Come to this free workshop, you guys. This is a free workshop. And you know, Jen Jones, this thing's gonna be fun. All right, so from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., we're gonna have a Stream Deck workshop where you can learn more about how this Stream Deck can work with teaching. Make sure you come to this, all right? The link, I have no idea where the link is. When I find it, I'll put it in the description below. Follow me on Instagram. I'm sure Jen Jones and myself will both post the link to this workshop soon and you guys teachers best friend say it with me teachers teachers best friend so there you have it you guys the elgato stream deck i have it i have it linked below this is a virtual teachers best friend thanks for watching you guys do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload one of these videos like this. My name is Darren Nakakihara. I'm a middle school teacher from Southern California. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. So long.